bit nervous today, but should be sure be okay. <laughs> yeah, ask me after uh, 13 miles. A fabulous charity, you know, doing great work all across the county. We sent emails around to clients. Clients have been incredibly generous, and I think quite a few people are actually quite keen to see this one get around 13 miles. So uh, that's why we've raised so much. <laughs> it's the most daunting experience ever. Hopefully, when I finish. I have that massive sense of personal achievement. Already the adrenaline and everyone around today, I just can't wait to get started. It's a brilliant run, it's a great route, I love the run, but they could be running for which ramblets, that's even better, isn't it? Back in 2012, I had a motorbike accident and the Witcher Air Ambulance saved my life. So I'm here today to raise money for Witcher Air Ambulance. My girlfriend was in an accident a couple of years ago and obviously uh, the Air Ambulance helped her out. They got from Froome to BAM RUH in three minutes. Can't say anything better about it, I'm really a brilliant. The charity's running for the people. I didn't realise that they don't, don't have any funding at all and they are just charity based. Such a good charity to be involved with. There are a lot of people around who uh, wouldn't have been around today if it wasn't for people like the Air Talking to a friend about doing the bar pass, I didn't know who to do it for. When I saw that Wiltshire Ambulance was on there, and I said to my mum that night when I got home that you never know when you're going to need it. And then the next morning, I got the phone call to say that my brother was in a car accident on his motorbike, and he was airlifted to Southampton Hospital. We'd be lost without them. People will lose lives, and we, we can't lose this. Ten years ago, I was saved by Wiltshire Ambulance and was told that I'd never walk again. I couldn't even run a mile a year ago. Wiltshire Ambulance gave me the opportunity to be able to run these half marathons. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Basically, we'd be kind of lost. I mean, there's so many people that need this type of service. And I don't think people actually realise that you don't get government funding. It costs thousands of pounds just to get them up in the air every day. And but even if it saves one person's life every year, they're doing a fantastic job and we're incredibly proud to sponsor them. Without Wiltshire I don't think my brother would have survived. It's such a great charity and you never know if you're going to need it, as we found out. Do it! Get involved! <laughs> it's, uh, it's been good fun. There's been a fair bit of training. If he can do it, <laughs> anyone can. <laughs> if you find something that's fitness that you enjoy, and go off and do it and then raise some money. There's always things going on that you can do those sort of things. Just go for it. So my target was £300, I think I'm nearly at 400 It's not a massive amount, but it's every little helps. Yeah, just, just get out there and do it. Ultimately, just have fun. To be able to take part and do it for such a great cause is, is amazing.